it's Saturday and uh, it's early evening. I've just got back from my camera club's annual exhibition and uh, this was waiting for me, got delivered this morning. It's uh, a pack from a company that I've not tried before, uh, EM4 Miniatures. That's uh, Echo Mic 4 number 4 at miniatures.com. And uh, these are plastic American Civil War. Now, I wanted to uh, create a Civil War uh, army, uh, mainly based around uh, Perry Miniatures, but um, I've put that on the back burner just for the moment because um, Warlord have just uh, released today their uh, German well, winter Germans, and I've got a couple of boxes put by. Um, but in the meantime, uh, earlier on this week, I saw these uh, online, and I thought I'd give them a go because they uh, they're quite cheap, basically. Um, so I've ordered four packs, and this is how they come. So there's absolutely no frills. Uh, come in a jiffy bag, and um, I've got uh, two Union uh, units and two Confederate units. Uh, they're exactly the same. Twenty figures in each each uh, unit. Um, and it's five pounds for uh, 20 figures, which is, uh, I guess, around half the price of Perry. Um, so you can't really tell what they're like online, uh, and this is them um, um, in the hand. So let's uh, let's have a wee look. Um, now I think there are ten f different figures, uh, two of each. So. Uh, We've got uh, two standard bearers, we've got two drummers, and where's the other drummer gone? There he is, uh, we've got two officers, and we've got uh, two each of uh, various troopers. So let's just uh, have a look at the figures. Um, first thing to note is they're soft uh, soft plastic so they're not like the hard plastic of uh, Victrix uh, and Perry uh, they're the soft soft uh, pliable plastic um, so height wise where are we so foot to eye is uh, just about 29 millimeters and maybe 30 millimeters foot to eye Have a quick look at another one. Yeah, about uh, 29, about 29 millimeters foot to eye there. Um, so let's have a look. So the first thing you know is um, the Bendy rifles. Um, I've not had soft plastic figures since I was a kid, as most of them are, are now hard plastic. Um, so, because they they just come in a bag, you're going to get this effect. Uh, well, that's obviously bent, bent round in transit. Uh, I'm not sure how much punishment that will take straightening out uh, before it breaks. Um, but uh, I guess they're just a little bit more pliable than the uh, solid. Or the uh, hard plastic. Um, so, looking at the figures, they're uh, they're not as detailed as uh, you would see in Victrix and Perry. But then again, you have to bear in mind that they're half the price. Um, so we've got mould lines down the legs there, and along the shoulder and the cap, which uh, are. Uh, quite visible so they'll need uh, just a little bit uh, of cleaning up I guess a uh, quick uh, rub with a scalpel will sort that out so uh, that's better so it's not going to take uh, many minutes to sort out though, that out um, Details uh, aren't as deep as you would see on the other types of figures, but uh, there are details there. Um, oh, there's a little bit of facial hair going on there. 
Uh, equipment wise we've got the uh, knapsack and the water bottle and another little bag and the straps and the cap um, rifles have uh, the bayonet but I think there's going to be a wee bit of bendiness going on there they do look um, quite shiny so uh, I'm guessing that they're probably going to need a good wash in soap and water before undercoated which I'll do. The bases are quite substantial um, they're they're going to be as thick as uh, as my um, MDF bases or just perhaps just a half a millimetre, quarter of a millimetre thinner but uh, nice and substantial and obviously uh, smaller than the 25mm bases um, so let's have a look at the, the, uh, the flag um, that's going to present some issues because it's all furled up so painting wise you're going to have to use uh, some skill there to show the stars and stripes on a furled flag um, I don't know how easy it would be to remove the flag and replace the pole with a, a pole and uh, an unfurled flag but um, we'll see how we get on painting wise with that again uh, you see the flash down the side um, there are some detail uh, folds in the trousers and uh, there's some detail on the boots so uh, the proof of the pudding I guess will be in the uh, painting and see how they paint up um, a couple more troopers uh, there's another one with a bent rifle oh, both of them are bent, that one's uh, quite substantially bent so we'll see how they uh, straighten up. Uh, drummer and officer. Uh, pistol looks a little bit sad. And a short sword over the, sh over the shoulder. Um, a little bit more detail perhaps. Uh, on belt, gun, folds in the jacket. Um, oh, you can see there bugle or something on the uh, ammo case is that so um, well it's not as detailed as, as Victrix and you, you wouldn't expect that level of detail in a figure that costs less than half price half the price of a Victrix um, not too bad um, so nice facial detail there nice big beard and again, uh, the flash will need to be sorted out, and the drummer. So, a uh, little bit of style. There's absolutely, well, complete lack of detail there. No, no detail on the top of the drum. Um, but you can tell it's a drum, and uh, we'll see how that paints up. Drumsticks look very short. Um, but again, you can see. See some detail in the in the belt that holds the drum. The uh, belt holes in there, and he's got his pistol stuffed down the back of his belt. So that's the Union unit. So as I say, I've got two two of those, so forty figures. I don't know um, quite how I'm going to base them all up, how many per unit, as I've not really chosen the rules yet. But, um, so we'll have to play that one by ear. So the Confederate, will, I guess, will come in the same configuration. Um, two drummers, two standard bearers, and uh, two officers. Um, there we go, where's the last drummer? There he is. And then uh, 14 troopers. So let's have a look at the troopers. Where are we? There we go. So that one looks about 28mm twine of all. Uh, 
that one's going to be 30 millimeters to our level. Standard bearer. Twenty-eight, twenty-nine millimeter, or oh, twenty-nine millimeters to our level. So um, let's have a look at the figures. So what I'm going to expect to see: very similar levels of detail. So there's some nice trouser folds at the bottom, not not so hot at the top. Uh, detail on the boots. These ones have got the blankets round. Uh, with the ties, blanket ties, you can see nice and clearly. Uh, water canteen, ammo pouch, and the hat. Uh, nice detail in the flag again. We'll see how that paints up. Be very difficult, I think, painting a felled flag. I've never done that yet, but we'll see. And uh, some of the troops. So there we can see the problems with the soft plastic and just having them in a loose bag. Um, we'll have to see if we can train the rifles to stay straight. So again, no, it's some reasonable facial detail. This one's got some more equipment. The uh, stances are very similar, it looks just like um, a change of uh, arm configuration or positioning, otherwise uh, fairly similar. An officer and drummer. Drum has the same uh, sort of lack of detail towards the body. Just the two front panels and then the lack of detail on the top and bottom. And the officer with his pistol, his scabbard. So that, uh, that sort of sums it up. Um, I'll uh, Give these a, a good wash, I think, with some uh, washing up liquid, dry them off, and then uh, I'll give them a, a, an undercoat spray, and uh, then think about what I'm going to do with bases. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing what they look like painted up, and then in due course um, compare a unit of these against a unit of Perry and see what they look like on the tabletop. But uh, that's it for now. Thanks very much for watching.